Hello my babies, I am running short on ad revenue, so I need to do a video. So I'm gonna bungle one together for you. Been out car booting today, didn't film what I was going around because I didn't expect it to be um, very good, but did quite well today actually. So, I'm going to run you through the stuff because I think it's worth showing. There's some cool little bits in there. And it goes to show you that you don't have to research everything on the field always. Some of it I picked up um, had a nice little bonus. In fact, one of them, um, Tom, was there. And I bought it um, and researched it together and it was worth a nice bit of money. Well, not a nice bit of money, not life-changing, but it's all right. You haven't got to research everything is what I'm saying. Get it. Just learn. Have, learn to use your gut. If something's quality made... Um, Nine times out of ten, it's going to be all right for the money, depending on what the money is, of course. So, I've got you on the GoPro stick. GoPro stick, tripod stick already. All I need to do is... See, the, the professionalism's upping. I'm getting a lot more professional. All we've got to do is plug you in. Sit you down. Voila. Dot t shirt, uh, James Collects, head over to his channel, click the link in his description and buy his t shirt for about 40 quid, I think it works out to be worth it. Loads of compliments today by the gamer nerds, they loved it. The ones that sell all the computer games and stuff, um, they loved it. I could have sold it 10 times over, I reckon. Let me zoom in a little bit, can I? No, I can't because it's selfie cam. So, what shall I start with first? I have researched a lot of this stuff, so I know roughly what it's worth. Um, one of them's a lovely little surprise. A prime example of just buying it on a whim because it's got a good brand name. Condition was good and the price was right. In fact, I'm going to zoom in on the edit probably around about now. There we go. I should be zoomed in. So I, I, don't, I don't know what I picked up first or any of that kind of jargon. Um, so I'm just going to run through and pick stuff off. I did pick up a... Xbox 360 Band Hero. It does have three of the games and the sticks in the bag. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this guitar alone is knocking out for about 45 quid with a game. This is the Rock Band Harmonics. I'm almost certain. I'll put a screenshot up here. Uh, let me move it to the side a bit. I'll put a screenshot up here. Bing! Um, that's what it's worth. Fender Stratocaster. I've no idea how people play this game, if I'm honest. That and the dance game. There's a dance game as well. It's worth about four quid now. Fast moving games, not, not the best at those. Not very fast moving bloke, if I'm honest. Um, but I paid, it wanted 15 quid for it. Uh, I'm going to get like a little, I'm going to get a podcast room. Paid, he wanted 15 quid for it. Offered in 10, we met in the middle at 12 and a half. It's a win. So I'm not too sure what it's all worth. I'm going to estimate around about 80 quid probably for the lot. If I remember rightly. The wired ones actually still hold good money. So that's a little, a little tip for you. A little freebie. A little game changing wrecker. Um, I'm going to show you this because I want to get out of the way actually picked up a bunch of 70s and 80s Star Wars stuff. Now it's in a horrendous condition. It's in a horrendous condition. We've got two, I think these are called snow stormers or something. They're not in the best condition at all. The, the, I believe they're probably missing the battery back compartment. Um, they are, I don't know if you can see it, 79 Kenner. There is two of those. The turrets are on top. I'm probably, oh no, these are 80s, sorry. 1980s, these ones. So we've got two of those. We have a X-Wing. Again, I believe 70, late 70s, early 80s. And this is 79, I believe. 79 Millennium Falcon. Just... All of it is in poor, poor, poor condition. However, 
the chap wanted ten pounds for it. He was just clearing stuff out. I wish I'd have got to that car boot sooner because the stuff that he had was fantastic. He wanted ten pounds for it. He wanted two pounds for this blue utility belt buzz, but I need to fix his wing. I should be able to do that. And I don't know what he wanted. For. I didn't even ask him. I just chucked in when he wanted ten for this. I just chucked in the buzz. I chucked in the belt and said ten for that. He said yes. Kept it by for me, even let me keep the crate. It's a bargain. I'll uh, put some screenshots up as we go along here. Can you see what they're worth? See what they're selling for. But you have to bear in mind the condition of this is poor. Um, so probably you have to knock off a good percentage from that. Just like I just knocked off my phone. That's why I wanted to get this out of the way. So it's done and I've got some space then. Are we still recording? We're still there. Get up there. Right, let's move this a little bit. There we go. Still with us? Good. Uh, picked up a Sanyo tape recorder. It's in really good condition, to be fair. It's got the case that comes with it. Um, I love this vintage tech, especially when it's in immaculate condition. Uh, TRC 370, 3570A, which means absolutely nothing to anyone. I don't know why we keep saying those things when we... Oh, it does work. Sweet, isn't it? Lovely. Um, nine times out of ten, all of us resellers will all spindle off the model number. As we're talking about it but it means nothing to, to most people it means nothing to resellers until they find it so it's a vintage sanyo personal tape recorder uh i think he wanted five i give him four he wanted five but we didn't give him that he wanted four um the next model down for this is selling the next model down for this online is selling for about 35 40 quid 35 why do i keep doing that it's my native tongue 35 35 40 quid that's a model up from that so who knows with the case and the condition it's immaculate i'll be aiming 49.99 with postage on top and hoping to hit the international market from the same guy that i bought the xbox 360 off the band stuff uh and mr potato head storm spud trooper I believe it's brand new it doesn't look as if it's been out of the box if it has no, I don't think it has. Still sealed on there. Yeah, from 2005 these are. I believe they're selling for around about 12 to 15 quid. Um, somebody has got 22 pounds, so that's what, that's what I'll be aiming for. Especially Q4 coming around the corner. As we all know, God. Um, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be aiming for about 20, 25 quid on that because that's how I am, pay the pound. Uh, again, from the same guy. Bought this LED lenser. That's a like a jogging torch headlamp type thing. Um, if this was a few models up, you were looking at around about 50 quid for that. As it is, maybe 15 to 20, 25, maybe the model numbers have you know lots more have been released since then. So it is what it is. Uh tech moves on, doesn't it? But it's still a lamp. A lamp is a lamp for your head. Do you know what I mean? If you're gonna go running, you need a light. You're going to buy that one, ain't you, off me for 25 quid. Paid a pound for that one again. Uh, picked up. So there's got one full box there. And this box here, which has got one out of it. Paid 50 pence a peach. In fact, it's a little bit different. Cause there's nine, basically. No, there's 11. There's 11 of these. Um, one of 50 pence each. They're like little suction cups for getting dents out of your car and stuff. 50 pence each. Uh, I paid five pound for 11. So you can do the math. Uh, probably not too much to be fair. I'm going to sell them packs of two, I think, for 4.99. After postage, I'll give me around about one pounds fifty on the listing. So you know, it's nothing major, but it keeps the stock ticking over, keeps the keeps the store active. It's a nice little multi quantity listing because that sadly is going to be two pounds ninety to send no matter what. So I might even just send them in bulk. So I might even just try and sell the whole lot, actually. I might even try and do a big bulk listing. Uh, what's there, 11? I don't know, I'll figure it out. They're not worth too much money. I thought they'd be worth more than that, but they're not. Oh, well. Some of you will remember this. I picked it up, and then the wonderful John, Brum reseller, picked one up also. And I think uh, Becky did, and a few other people have ended up picking them up since. 10 pence you wanted for that. Uh, I give her 50p, because they're they're moving house um i pulled out 50p coin i just said keep that it's absolutely fine because it's, it's worth it 
Uh, same people, actually. I picked up a brand new Rugby Union uh, sleep suit. England Rugby. Official merchandise. Paid a pound for that. It's three to six months, if any of you have got three to six monthers and like rugby. Uh, I thought I'd have done that now. GameCube. Nintendo GameCube, absolutely ratted and battered, console only. Uh, he wanted £5 for it. Ended up having to give him £5.60 or £5.40 because something to do with change and whatever he had, I don't bloody know. Um, very yellowed on the front. But it, I, should, you know what, I should have closed that garage door. I've just realised how bad this video is now. After all this time, I've just realised it. Never mind, never mind. Uh, we're just doing it for the ad revenue. Uh, it has got a official controller in there official memory card <sighs> has got official memory card in there so that'll be about 11 quid back all in um, and it does have crash the wrath of cortex disc only in there about another nine quid back on that and if the console is working probably about 20 pounds for the console only i do have a nintendo gamecube power lead sitting in my box of wires that i've been holding on to just in case this day ever arrives and I need to test it. And there we are. We've got it. Dolmio dish, by the way. The last time I sold it, it was £29.99, I think I got for it. So and this is quite scratched inside. Because it's got marks and stuff. The last one was minty fresh. Probably aim for about 20 22 25 maybe. See what I get out of it. Um, V-Power, 2008 Le Mans. Du Mans, whatever. Uh, cap. Paid 50p for that. It's worth about nine, ten quid all in. Got this pound stretcher bag simply because, well, pound stretcher. A British Airways company. Never knew the British Airways ended up buying them out. Didn't know that. But it's a cool little bag, um, if nothing for the history. 50p. Maybe 9.99 if I was to sell it properly. Who knows? A uh, vintage Scottish Goofy. Hey. Uh, really really nice vintage tag i love finding these ones there was a few more bits there but i didn't bother with it um i can't tell you the exact date i don't think no um but i reckon i should probably get about 15 pound back for that i paid a pound um i love it i really like it i love my plush at the moment thing is you'll see i've got a little collection of accoutrements happening up there Things slowly but surely gaining momentum for when I actually have somewhere decent to store it. Come on in. Oh, no, it's all right. I didn't realise you were... What's, what's the matter? Just was going to read your message. That's all. Can you read it? I'm only filming. I'm going to edit this out. Please may you close the carriage, the carriage door. I've got a bit of a lighting situation. Many thanks. Scottish goofy. <laughs> Right, so what else did we, where was we, where was we, where was we? Um, right, we got this lovely big thick hoodies by Stephen Barry's uh, Athletic Department. It's not worth too much, but it's the same guy. Where did I buy this off? But it's the same guy that I got the cap from, the Dumans one. But it's really thick. It's a nice XL, but it fits me with baggy, it's quite baggy, and I love that. Winter's coming up, so £2 paid. When I come to sell it, probably about 15 back on it, but I'm going to wear it for a while because it's just... It's just lovely. Uh, we have a Nautica NS83. Now, two little things about this, actually. So this was uh, £2 I paid for it. Two quid. Lovely. Um, lovely colourway. Really nice condition. Probably only worth about... Not only. It's probably worth about 35 quid. Um, but I shall, again, with this weather, I should be keeping hold of that for a while. And then when I come to sell it, probably about 30, 35 quid. Lovely, lovely lady. She's telling me about how her husband, I think it's her husband's who passed away. Um, said he loved Nautica. They bought they bought it in Canada. Um, just, I don't know, just really, she was just really nice to talk to. And then I did my second lap, come back around again. And she, she said, oh, I told you, told you to do a second lap. She said, oh, come here, come here, come here. I've got something for you. The daughter's like, oh, make sure you give him that. So what have I got to buy now? <laughs> And she went, no, 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 I wanted to give you this to match your coat. So she gave me this little Nautica cap. It does need a hell of a clean, she said it needs a hell of a clean. But she went, I just thought of you, I thought, oh, I should have given it to you when you left. So bless you. So let, please, let me just pay some. And they said, no, um, 
So when I left, I flipped a quid onto the table, of course. But yeah, how lovely is that? And it's it's a really nice cap. If because I am going to keep the jacket for a while, but I won't wear the cap. Or I might wear the cap. It's a nice one. It is nice. Six panel. But yeah, um, that's probably not worth too much. But it's a really nice little hitter, that is. It's simple, but also has a pop. That makes sense, if it makes sense. Uh, buh, 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 buh. What, have I, what, what have I got to do? Oh, yeah. Uh, box of, a book of Magic the Gathering cards. Um, I know the chaps where these came from. He paid a pound for them yesterday at Saturday's car boot. Um, he paid a pound for them yesterday at Saturday's car boot. I'd sent some pictures over to Vinny, Mad for Miniatures. Go and check him out. I think his link is in my description down below. Uh, I didn't obviously. I've never seen Magic the Gathering cards before, so I don't have a clue what I'm looking at. But um, he said, "Yeah, get them because they're worth the tenner all day long." There's a few in here that are multiples. In fact, the one that he told me to get the most, I wonder if that's a multiple in there. Oh, there is. Oh, like Angel's Mercy. But yeah, so I've got, I didn't have a clue about Magic the Gathering, especially when they were 2012. But there's pages upon pages upon pages upon pages upon pages upon pages. I can't tell you much more about them, if I'm honest, because uh, I don't know enough. I don't know enough about them. But Vinny said there's one card in there which I did look up after, so worth 35 quid. Um, so I'm happy with that. Vinny might want the folder actually. I'm not sure. In fact, I think he messaged me. In fact, I know he messaged me. He actually said he wanted them. Might have to haggle him on the price though. Uh, this was two pound. It's one of them roadside triangle things. I picked it up because I've never picked one up before, and I just know that they can sell well. It's got. I've never heard of the brand. Terreal Terraquit. I don't know if that's some sort of different language for something. But it's just a triangle. You know what? You know when you break down, it's got like a little high vis vest in there. Um, I just think I know some cars come with these as standard, don't they? So if it's if I paid two pound for it on a whim, if it's not worth too much money, I'll just stick it in my car because it'd be handy to have, won't it? Just in case. Oh, that's in fact. If I, I'm going to jinx myself now. I've never broken down to a point where I need to be rescued or anything yet. As soon as I put that in my car. It's gonna happen, isn't it? And I've already said it now, so I might as well put it in my car. I might as well go in there for a bit. Uh, this was the thing that I told you about when I was looking with Tom. Um, I asked how much it was. I think it was two pound. Uh, it's really lightweight. It's a stick, a walking stick. I believe they use it uh, for like hiking and things. Uh, it's by Lecky. Never heard of it before. This is the Wonder Friend. So I think it's written in German or something like Wonder. I don't know. But uh, I paid two pounds for it. It's in really nice condition, really, really lightweight. Um, looked it up with Tom on their own, pre owned. They're going for about 25 to 30 quid. So that's fantastic, isn't it? That's the brand. It's upside down, isn't it? There it is. So I think I paid two pounds for that, I believe. 25 quid back, smashing it. Uh, Budweiser Pool Cute and Case by the same people that I got the Dolmio dish from and the baby thing. They said to me that once it finished at the car brew, everything was going to the tip. So that's why, you know, she said to me, 10, everything was got 10p, 20p. The young couple, so they knew what they're doing. They're not like, they're not getting mugged off or anything. Uh, this was, I think it was a pound. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a pound. Um, everyone's seen that bit of a pool cue. But it's got the case for it as well. This would fetch me, give or take, 29, 25 to 30 odd pound, I should imagine. It's in remarkable condition, apart from that I dropped it when I got into the when I got into the garage, but it didn't do any damage really. Um, I think with the case as well, even though the case is pretty beaten up, it's gonna add a little bit of value to that as well. Uh, any sort of Bruania, I can't even say it, but any sort of like pub stuff. It's not going in there. Is there something in the bottom of there? It was doing that earlier. Maybe that needs to go there. Maybe that one goes there. And then that one goes there. No. There is something in there. Obviously, I've got to see what it is now, haven't I? Um, but yeah, around about 30 quid, 30 quid back for these, I should imagine. What is that? 
please be a stack of cash. I think it's actually just chalk. So how have you been guys? You're, you've been well? Oh, I've got to really feed it out. We're getting there, we're almost there, whatever it is. We're almost there. We've got a camo bag of something. Please don't be a grenade. Oh, just some, just some chalk. <laughs> well, that was a uh, anti-climax. So now that should go into the stick holes. All right, okay. Zip. There we go. Budweiser, King of Beers, Paul Q. Let's say that, let's say comfortable 30 pound. Power Station Genius. Uh, it is brand spanking new. Never been used. Fabulous condition because it's never been used. Everything is there. There we go, look at that. Minty fresh. It should, remember rightly, I have to, have to unlock them there, but these actually extend out. So these are the 19 pins, I believe. Is it nine pin? No, how many pins is it? Not too sure without, without looking at it. Um, I can't remember what games these go for, but right, so this is the guy that I got the Star Wars stuff off to. Saw it as I was leaving, he gave me it for two pounds. Didn't have a clue what it was. I thought it maybe it was like a uh, third party Mega Drive controller type thing. It's not, it's similar, it is that type of thing. There's the gear, not the gear, there's the joystick thing for it. Um, they're not actually worth that much money. Somebody's got off, somebody's trying to sell one sealed in the cellophane for 15 quid and somebody's trying to sell one like my condition new and new open never used um for 30 quid so i think the competition's like you know i don't think it's worth that much money at all it's fungible isn't it let's face it uh, you can get over there you're done um so yeah i paid two pound for that no idea what it's worth back might be it might, might be a tenner could be a 20 or I could those two people might not be offering GSP, well I do. So this is a blinder. A prime example of uh, you can see me in there, can't you? A prime example of brand, condition, and price. Just buy it without researching. It's a Disney toaster. It actually toasts Mickey onto the toast. Um, incredible condition. Barely been used at all. Haven't tested it out yet. In fact, let's test it out now. Ready? Lovely. It's working. Uh, we'll cancel that. How'd you cancel that? There we go. Cancelled that. never knew it did that so we have a musical toast it just gets better and better um wow so anyway people are getting 60 to 100 pound pre-owned for this version and a little bit more for the one with mickey on it fantastic <laughs> I, did, I had no idea it did that a musical toaster who'd have thunk it he wanted four pound, paid him three pound. Good lad he was. He was a nice, nice boat to talk to. I should have filmed today, but I didn't expect it to be a decent car boot today. But it was. Um, I've got the Magic Gathering cards from Pat and Paul. So thank you very much, chaps. Or just Paul. I'm sorry, not to take your credit away from you. Pat, Pat gets enough. Um, and I also picked up this, I believe it's not like suede leather, uh, new not new book it's definitely like a suede thing uh, burberry jacket that toaster stinking uh, it's vintage burberry 
It's a size small. It's in really, really good condition, to be fair. There is a few little marks. I believe there's like a graze on the... What have I seen somewhere? Maybe not. Maybe I'm seeing things. But I saw it hanging up there. I was with Tom at the time. I saw the Nova check. I said to the lady, it's hanging out. But I said, is that Nova check? Is that a bit of Burberry? She said, yes, it is. Well, good, good, good eyes. So how much is it? She said, five pound. I said, I'll take it. Um, it could be 150 back there. I've got a nice collection of Burberry. Guys. I still haven't even listed that trench coat yet. So I haven't listed the trench coat. I haven't listed the Harrington jacket. I probably won't list this for ages either. I did list the Burberry scarf that I found the other day, though. I have listed that. Um, so that is everything I picked up today. Haven't done a video uh, for a while. Not a while, probably about a week or so. So I thought I'd, I'd give you something to, to watch. Keep in the loop for you. Um, yeah. All in all, I think today I spent around about £100, give or take, because I know that I had £100 and something pound in my wallet and now I don't have anywhere near that. So, but my money is very, very safe, of course, and that's the name of this game, isn't it? We need to be spending money and making money. Can't just be, can't just be breaking even on everything, can we? I bumped into the lovely ladies who watch me on YouTube as well today, so very nice to see you both. I hope you found some bargains. Uh... I think that's me done. I said I'd do a quick video and I have, it's a quick video. As always, anything you see here and you like the look of and you want to buy it, message me, you'll get it for a hell of a lot cheaper than what I would list it on eBay for. Take care, love you all, bye. <laughs>